Good morning, good morning, guys. What is up? It's Ben. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day, and there are a ton of sales. Super excited for today. Um, we're starting out here at a church sale. Actually, I hit one garage sale before this, but this is our first like official stop of the sale or of the uh, day. It's a church sale, rummage sale, 8 a.m. Um, this one's usually a really good one, but I'm going to try and speed through it this year because there are so many sales today. There's like four different community sales, five different community sales, all within like the same town. It's it's almost like a citywide sale. Um, so today I'm going to be busting pavement and getting to as many as I possibly can. Um, so if I don't get all the footage, I apologize, but I'm just going to be moving super quick through the sales. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and go to this first rummage sale. Here we go. What are you asking on the jersey? Pardon me, sir? You like the middle of the Yeah. Yeah, I used to live in Indianapolis. How much are you asking on it? Ten. I probably paid 30 for it. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> it's a cool one. Okay. You wouldn't take five on the jersey, would you? Five? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Cameras in all my cars. Do you? Yeah. I got a GoPro laying on the bottom of some car. Strapped to the top of it. He was like, how much is that? I was like, there's about $400 laying on the bottom of your car. Where are you asking on the PSP? Uh, games and everything on it. 80 bucks. I was just playing it two nights ago. Charge it several times, works, last couple weeks. I have another one, so. <laughs> so that one. I was looking at that one. Okay. What do you think? Five bucks? I don't know if it's ever been worn. I'll do five bucks on that. Okay. I'll grab, the, I'll grab the fleece off here. How much is it? Tell me what the sign says for a long sleeve. Okay. I think it was three. Three? Yeah. Do you want a bag? I'll throw it in my backpack. Okay. So I brought it. Have you been?
more? Oh. Yeah. How much on this guy? Did you take a block for him? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. That'll be fun. Is this your sale? Uh -huh. What do you want on the dolls? So those three, the that, These one, three? that one, and that one. Right here. This one, one. This one. And this one. And All this one. Here. Okay. And then these two are just regular dolls. Okay. I don't even know. I'd have to ask my daughter. Gotcha. Right here. And these clothes go with them? Oh, yeah, those clothes, shoes, five dollars. Five dollars, and how, the Nikes are fifteen. Okay. And you were asking what? Just ten for each of the dolls. Each. I'd do fifteen if I added this because there's a lot of stuff with it. What if I bought all of them? You want to just do it yeah. for twenty? Sorry, I don't. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. That's fine. Hello. Not bad yourselves. What were you asking on it? Just take three bucks on it? Sure. Cool. Which ones go here? Not bad yourself? What was that? Forty. It's funky. Look at the colors on that one. That's cool. How much is that? How much are these? On this colorful one. Five bucks? Yes. All right, I'll take that for five. That's pretty cool. Or unique, I should say. <laughs> I'll bring your hanger back. Okay, yes, thank you. Oh, man. We just scored a Coogie sweater. Coogie, Coogie, however you say that. Either way, that is easily over $100 right there. Five bucks. Wow, great score. Did you do three bucks on those? Huh? Three on those? You have 450 on them? Cool. All right, guys, today's actually Sunday, but yesterday and today between the sales, we hit some major scores. That's why I'm splitting the video in between the Friday video and the Saturday and Sunday video. Um, I didn't actually film today Sunday's pickups, but on Instagram, if you follow me on my stories, you saw them. But between Saturday and Sunday, we hit some bangers, so here they are. 
All right, so we're just going to get right into Saturday with a banger. This is a Kugi Australia 3D sweater. If you mean, if you don't know what I mean by 3D, is like these part like come out and they're off the sweater. Crazy colorway, made popular by a ton of different famous people and artists. People love these; they go crazy for them. This sweater alone, I paid five dollars at the sale, but this sweater will probably go 130 to 150, maybe even more. I might put it up for auction. Maybe I'll get a little more. But, I mean, $150 all day on that guy. Crazy find. Super crazy find. I love it. Alright, next we just got a basic North Face uh, fleece jacket. Only thing I bought at the sale, I think I paid like 2 bucks for it. Um, this will be 20 bucks when I sell it online. Nothing too special. That's a pretty average one. It does have a hood on it. Alright, this piece is pretty sweet as well. As you can see, it's a Lee jacket. It's denim with a wool lining. In a corduroy collar. Um, just judging by the buttons and the style of the jacket, I think this is from the 60s. Um, and if I'm right, I'll do a little more research on it, but um, I think this will probably be a $75 to $85 jacket. That one's pretty cool as well. She had a bunch of old stuff, but this was the only thing I picked up from her. Okay, next we have these three American Girl dolls. I got them all from the same sale. Um, I haven't looked up their names yet, but I paid 10 bucks for the three dolls and a bag of accessories and clothing with them. So 10 bucks total for all that. Um, American Girl sells super well. I have sold it a few times, but it's just a pain looking up the dolls. Um, I don't know a ton about the dolls and how to tell which one's which without looking them up so I'll do a little research but I think each of these should go for at least 40 bucks a piece I would say. Next we have this guy it's Littlefoot from Land Before Time it's a nice plush it's one of the fuzzy ones um, it is from applause I believe no so you can see Land Before Time right there on his tag and it is by the company sorry it's hard to do this Gund um, I didn't, I've never sold this plush, I've never sold a Gund, a Gund brand plush, but I figured since it's vintage it'll probably be worth something. I think after looking at comps I'll probably get around $30 for him. Next, PlayStation 2 system. This thing was in super disgusting shape, like, I mean absolutely disgusting, hair and dirt, like mud on it everywhere. I haven't tested it yet, I literally just wiped it down right before this video, so I'm hoping everything ends up working, but... I only paid uh, two dollars for or three dollars for the entire system and the cords and the controller. I mean, it was it was in disgusting. Normally, I'd pay more, but uh, I, this thing was nasty. Here we have three PSP titles. We have Taito Legends Power Up. It's like Galaga and stuff. It's like one of those um, games where they put all the different classic games in it. Um, this is actually a movie Aeon Flux. And the best one out of those three, Castlevania, um, on the on the PSP. I think this is like a thirty-five to forty-dollar game. I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure it is. So pretty sweet score on that one. All right. So this find, I saw it and I knew what it was, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure, so I had to go and check. But it was Fire Emblem: Path of Radiance. Now. This is in a very, very, very expensive game. This is like a $150 game on the GameCube. So I was stoked to find it. And as you can see, they had $8 on it. <laughs> I was happy to pay that. Um, but I noticed once I opened it up, Animal Crossing was in there. Which still isn't a bad game. It's like a $24 game loose. But with the... With the game, this would have been $150, so a little disappointing. At least it's a good game in there, not some sports title or something. But even on with that, on the bright side, the case and manual will sell for about 70 by itself without the game for this. So awesome score still nonetheless here. Alright, next up we have this bat right here. It's a DeMarini. If you don't know bats, this was a great one to look out for. I don't know a ton about bats, but this is one of the brand names I look out for. Um, as you can see, it's a Vendetta a composite bat, and the model is right there. If you can see that, it's VCF13 if you want to look it up. But this is like a $75 to $80 bat used, so 
another awesome score. I'm going to clean that up and have to get all this gunk off it and everything, but 75 to 80 bucks, I think, on that one. Here is a pair of Nike Air Maxes in a crazy colorway. Um, they're not in super great condition, but they're not in terrible condition. I'll just have to clean it up with the Magic Eraser, and they'll look very, very good. Um, I pay, They had a price of $4.50 on there. Paid 3 bucks for them. Um, I think these are like, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are like $60 shoes used. So, pretty happy with that. We had one more piece of clothing. It's a Champion Indiana Pacers. Um, as you can see, they're size 44. Jersey with Miller, Mr. Reggie Miller on the back. That's an awesome score. Um, I think I'll probably end up getting at least 30 bucks on that guy. And I paid paid five for it, I think. All right, so again, um, this is another sale. Polaroid, just as a normal Polaroid 600 film um, camera. I picked this up for a dollar, and I should be able to get at least 20 to 25 out of it. Um, this is like a sealed, it's called Casio Cool, my super magic diary. Um, this was a buck, it's sealed. Super high rank on Amazon, but I think I'm going to send it in just see if it ever sells. Then lastly, we got this catcher's mitt. It's a model right there, Wilson A2881 um, catcher's mitt. I didn't look it up, but for a buck, I think, or actually I might have paid two bucks on this, I'm not sure, but buck or two, I'll take the chance because catcher's mitts sell well, so do first baseman gloves and left-handed gloves. And here's the last pickup, it's a Furby for a buck, we got it at like a church sale, I was hoping the church sale was going to be better, but it wasn't, um, but for a dollar, I think I'll get like 20 bucks out of the Furby. I also wanted to mention real quick that I did end up buying that Jamis bike, the Jamis Venture bike, for $20, and I think... Uh, if I sell it, it'll get around 200 maybe 300 for it, so I'll probably try to sell that locally and not online or anything, but I'm not gonna, it's down in my basement, I don't feel like dragging it out, but I just want to let you know, I did end up buying that bike. Okay, so now we're going to hop into today's sales on Sunday. Um, I'm going to start out with the thrift store finds, then the awesome um, yard sale find that I had. So these are vintage 1994 um, coffee mugs. As you can see, they're Looney Tunes, there's Tweety, Wiley Coyote, Sylvester, and Daffy. Um, I paid two bucks a piece for them, and I think online they were going for about twenty bucks a piece. But I'll put them all in a lot together and sell them that way as a a uh, full lot together. They're pretty cool mugs. Also at that thrift store for um, two dollars again. This is another De Marini bat, just like the one I found yesterday. Except this one's model is not as desirable um, as you can see there. It's a C405. Um, not as desirable, it's still like a, I think it's like a 30 to $40 bat, but still, two bucks into that, can't complain. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I found this. This is really cool. It's a Donkey Kong Country Pog Pitch, it's called Pog Pitchin' Game. Um, it's for Pogs, like the little slammer Pogs from back in the 90s, but um, this is also at the thrift store. I paid three bucks for it, and I mean, if that wasn't cool enough, when you open the box, it hasn't been used at all. I did go through it. Um, it looks like they took the little promotional pogs out of it, um, but the game itself, the board, is never been snapped out of the cardboard, so that's pretty freaking cool. I um, haven't looked this up, but I mean, for three bucks, I might keep this in my personal collection because it is super, super cool. So here is my find of today. As you can see, there are 20 different lunch boxes. And I paid, he was asking uh, five bucks a piece on them. I ended up paying uh, 50 bucks total for all of them, so about two dollars or 250 a piece. So these are awesome. They are the like 60s and 70s metal lunch boxes with uh, various shows and stuff on them. Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown of what is in here. We have Dark Crystal, Muppet Babies. Fraggle Rock, 18 Wheeler, Berenstein Bears, uh, what is this one? I forgot what this one was called, it's on the back. Uh, Polly Pal, Annie, Battle Kit, Sesame Street, and the Muppets. And we have Care Bears, the same Care Bears, 
Care Bears Cousins, another Care Bears Cousins, and another, another Care Bears. <laughs> so it's a lot of Care Bears. Some of them are in rough shape, as you can see, but, I mean, for what I paid, no big deal. This one's just a straight-up plaid Aladdin lunchbox. Then we got the Muppet movie, Indiana Jones, Rambo, and the Hardy Boys mystery. So that's all of them. Some of them have thermoses in them, some of them don't. Um, either way, like, I think at least, like, 20 bucks can serve, like, 15, maybe, like, on some of the rougher ones, 15 bucks, but 20 bucks should be all day on each of these, at least. I know some of them, some of them are more rare. Ugh, can't talk. More rare than others. Um, for instance, I think this 18-wheeler one is, like, a 50... 40 to 51 I think um, there's some, there's some other ones in there that are worth it but really really cool pickup um, I might keep the dark crystal one because the thing's awesome and it's getting a reboot on Netflix shout out um, but yeah that was the find of today yeah that's gonna do it for today I hope you guys enjoyed the content I had an amazing weekend and I could not have asked for a better one Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were all great to me, so I hope they were good to you guys as well. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. Remember to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and hit that like button. If you want to leave a comment, that'd be great too. I try to get to all the comments. Thanks again for all the support, and until next time, keep on treasure hunting. See ya.